What's good, everybody? It is currently day number, I don't know, it's been a long time uh, in quarantine season during Corona. Um, and it's about time I make one of these videos. So um, I've been thinking about this for a while, I'm wanting to get back on YouTube. Uh, it's a process. Being creative is a process. Being human is a process. Laziness is a process. So after a long time, I'm back here making videos, super excited. Uh, today I kind of want to just talk about really what, you know, as believers, right, as as, as followers of Jesus, I mean, what, what should our, what should your mindset be, you know, during this coronavirus time? I've thought personally about myself, like, all right, I've gone through seasons of extreme laziness, like a week or two of laziness, and then it's like, oh no, I gotta get better, I gotta improve. Um, and then it's like, no, just chill. And then it's like all these things. And I've seen tons of YouTubers, tons of videos out there where people kind of explain the same thing. It's like, we're all like up and down and this, this season just being at home has just made us like really think about, you know, ourselves and, and what we're good at, what we're not good at, areas we struggle with, tensions with people, things like that. So I feel like our minds have been everywhere. And you know, if you follow me on Instagram and if you don't make sure to follow me, it's, it's Nestor Gomez 777. You can uh, follow me there. I'll put the link in the description. I made a, a video um, on there about this verse that I found in the Bible reading Matt through Matthew. And I was thinking, you know what? This is such a season where yes, rest I believe takes and has a part, but I also believe work and preparing for the next thing, the next, I don't know, season, the next post quarantine life. And this is a time we can take advantage and prepare for that. So that being said, uh, I wanna jump into the verse. So it's in Matthew chapter four and it's in verse 18. So for those who don't know, this is one of the gospels. There's four of them, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and they all talk about the story of Jesus. So it says here in verse 18, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Verse 20, they immediately left their nets and followed him. Verse 21, going on from there, he saw two older brothers, James, the son of Zebedee and John, his brother in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. Sorry for the lack of punctuation. I just read that entire thing straight through, but whatever. Anyways, there's two instances here where Jesus interacts with two groups of people. The first one, uh, they're called uh, Simon called Peter. Peter and Andrew when they're brothers. And the next group is made up of James and his brother, John, and they're with his father. So what's happening here is Jesus is on his stroll. Um, I don't know, just walking and he's walking by and he sees the first group, uh, Peter and Andrew. And he says, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And for those who don't know, this is when they're called into walking um, as the disciples of Jesus. But what's important here, what I want to focus on, it says, in verse 18, it says casting a net into the sea. So they were called well, casting a net into the sea because they were fishermen. They were going out and doing what they were called to do in that period of their, their life. They were, they were fishermen. They were throwing a net. And the second group, they're also in a boat. They're also fishermen and they're with their father um, and they're mending their net. And then Jesus also called them. What do I want to say here? Well, I think they were doing what they were. They were fishermen, right? They were fishermen, two were mending nets, two were casting nets. Two of them were even with their father. They hadn't even left home. It wasn't like they were doing their own thing or anything like that. So how does this relate to you and me? Well, I think our mindsets should be the same way. You see, they, they were just doing their thing. They were, they were just doing what they were called to do. If I'm going to use that language called to do in that moment in their lives, they were called to be fishermen. And then Jesus just comes out of nowhere and is like, Hey, you know what? You're fishermen, but I'm going to take you from fishermen, from fishing fish, and I'm going to make you fishers of men. I'm going to use your background. I'm going to use what you've been doing already, and I'm going to shift it. I'm going to add my little flavor on that, and I'm going to push you into your next season. You're going to go from fishermen to fishers of men. So what's your mindset be? Well, I want to encourage you guys like, hey, just because, you know, 
let's be honest, we get lazy. Just because you're tired one day and you don't feel like you know doing anything for a couple hours, you want to relax. Some of you guys are finishing finals. Some of you already have. I understand that, and God's not trying to persecute you. He's not saying go bust yourself right now and doing this, doing, doing, doing this, this, and that. And he's not persecuting you. That's that's not that's not who he is. But what I also can say is this: that God doesn't want you to be a lazy bum. A lot of times we can be lazy bums if we're honest. But you know. He's calling us to do what these guys were doing. See, they 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 were already in the they were already working in what they were supposed to be doing at that moment. So they had the knowledge of what they were supposed to be doing, fishermen, and then they were doing it. And then Jesus walks by. And I want to encourage you. Guys, we don't know when this is going to end. We don't know when Jesus is going to be like, "All right, this is over. I'm going to I'm going to start I'm going to push you into the next season. I'm going to shift things." We don't know when that is. But the important thing is to be ready. The important thing is to be working already for that. Why? For his glory. Because you don't want to be called into something that you're not prepared for. You don't want to have a weight on your shoulders that can't be carried because you're not spending time in the presence of God. Because you're not sowing into what God is calling you right now. To be loving to your father. See, those two guys, at the end, they were still with their father. They hadn't gone out and lived their life, but they were adults already at this point. A lot of us are at home with our parents, our families. We gotta learn how to, humility, love, patience, because we're living with people even though we're older. If you're a teenager, a young adult, it may be tough, but at the end of the day, that may be your ministry in this moment. In this book, in the Bible, God has given us a mindset. Just do what you're called to do now. Ask the Lord, spend time with him. If, if you're not a Christian, once again, I want to encourage you, seek him out. Message me in the comments. Seek a friend out that you may know is, is, a, is a Christian. If you kind of find yourself all over the place, pick this book up. Start in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, any of the Gospels. Read the story of Jesus and see how he, you know, deals with that, shows us love, compassion, who he is. And then most importantly, what I'm trying to get out of this video is, you know, what is he calling you to do now? So, you know, we these guys went from fishermen to fishers of men. You could go from just being a 21-year-old kid like me at my house, you know, just living life, doing yard work, to who knows what after this is all over. But if I'm called to do that, then I'm called to do that, which means God's not going to waste it. God doesn't waste time and he doesn't waste your time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be posting more of these on YouTube. I'm uh, super excited to be back and I'll see you guys in the next videos. So figure out what God is calling you to do in this season. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe, uh, like the video and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.